Hey everyone, I'm Scott 182 and welcome to another installment of Wii On Reviews. And today's Wii On Review, I'm going to be reviewing the two Resident Evil CGI movies. Resident Evil Degeneration and Resident Evil Damnation. Since it's actually so close to the end of the world, being at the 21st I believe, and the most common conception is that it's going to be a zombie apocalypse, why not learn some uh, interesting stuff from the master himself, Leon S. Kennedy. So, let's dive right into this with the first one, shall we? We're going to be talking about Resident Evil Degeneration. So, firstly, I may as well give you a little background with my history with the Resident Evil franchise. Um, I've only ever really played two Resident Evil games. I've only ever played Resident Evil 2, that was the one with Leon and Claire, and Resident Evil 5. Resident Evil 6 was one that did appeal to me, but in the end I just didn't get. Um, so... Yeah, that's my history. I'm a fan of the series. I like it. I liked it better when it was a little bit more scary rather than action orientated, but I can forgive it with the way the series has gone. But we're not going to talk about the games here. We're going to be talking about the CGI films. And do not worry, the live action ones by uh, Mr. By, uh, starring Mila Jonovic will have their day on this Wii on review, but not today. And uh, well, we'll start with this one, of course. So what's the story of Resident Evil Degeneration? So I am, I'm going to have to do this. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to We On Reviews. And if you can't handle it, I got two words for ya. Suck it! Sorry, if you get that reference, you're awesome. I had to do it. <laughs> but what's the story of Resident Evil Degeneration? Well, the story follows the characters of Leon and Claire as a terrorist attack on a airport has led to a zombie outbreak. Claire, of course, is stuck in the middle, as she always is. And Leon is part of the strike team that's sent in to clean up and rescue a high-power individual in the government, if memory serves me. I could be wrong about that. I, haven't, I did watch it, but I have a horrible memory. Uh, but yeah, zombie apocalypse, zombie outbreak in an airport, and of course Claire is protecting a young little girl in this, and Leon is being a badass motherfucker, as he is one of the few people to survive the Raccoon City outbreak, and is subsequently part of many, quite a few, anti-bioterrorism organisations, including being the bodyguard to the president's daughter. Yep, I'm done that. But yeah, it, basically that's the story in a nutshell. I don't want to spoil it, as I said, my Wii on reviews are spoiler free. But it does have very familiar zombies. It's not your uh, modern day Resident Evil zombies, the ones with the... <laughs> it's your very slow moving... <sighs> zombies. There is one or two, uh, there are dogs if memory serves me. I could be wrong with that, as my memory is horrible, even though I just watched this day or two ago. Um, but we do, you do also get a couple, one other mutation, which is basically the thing with the giant eyeball from Resident Evil 2. I don't want to spoil too much about that because it does actually have a bit of a plot twist with, with that instance. There is a couple of subplots involving a woman and her brother, but it's very crucial that I don't talk about that because it is a bit of a major spoiler when it comes to that. So I don't want to talk too much about that, but it is a very interesting plot for basically a like, video game movie. Um, the plot is actually fairly decent. It does keep you on your toes in some instances. As your generic Resident Evil plot. Zombie outbreak happens. Claire and Leon pop in and save the day. That's about it. And by the way, Claire and Leon are my two favourite protagonists from the Resident Evil franchise. Sorry, Jill Valentine. Sorry, Chris Redfield. Screw you guys. I'm Leon and Claire all the way. Um, and really, this shows in this film. This is this film is well. It was made. If memory serves me, it's, yep, it's made by Capcom, so they know the source material. Um, they actually do get the original voice actor for Leon and Claire, and at least that's what I can tell. I did look on the IMDb page, and it did state that the voice actor for both Claire and Leon in this one have done Claire and Leon in the past. So they did get the original ones, and it was really, really good. So it's very video game oriented. You kind of have to be a fan of the series to enjoy this. Um, but if you're not a fan of the series and you just vague memory of it, I'd say it's definitely worth a, pick, worth a watch. Um, but then let's also talk about the other stuff. Let's talk about the CG. We'll talk about the CG, then we'll go into the voice acting, and then we'll go into the overall answer, is it worth it? Um, the CG is really good. It's actually pretty top notch. It's not the greatest. There are some obvious wee little nitpicks here, like some motion doesn't work to theirs. Slow motion is used, of course, as it always is. Um, but overall, the CG is actually really good. It's not as bad as I thought it would have been, and really, it's a lot better than freaking half the Resident Evil films that came out with live action with Mila Jovovich. Sorry, Mila, I love you, but yeah, stop making them, <laughs> along with your husband. But yeah, I think this is uh, the CG is really good. It, it, of course, they look plasticky. 
They look like video game characters. That's the whole fucking point of it. And it's really good. This 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 was like if it, this could have been a game if they added a bit of gameplay into it. But yeah, I like the CG. It was really good. A couple instances a wee bit iffy, but overall a decent budget. Uh, now the voice acting. Voice acting is decent. Like the two main standouts are the voice actor of Claire and Leon. Both of them do, do a fantastic job with the characters that they're given. The overall the cast are really well done. Some of them are a bit great in like one or two. Uh, I think the sister of the brother I mentioned is a wee bit iffy for me but the brother's actually really good in this as well and uh, you actually end up sympathising with him and the voice actor does a really good job there um, so overall the voice acting is really really good, it's not the greatest I've ever seen, the two standouts of course are Claire and Leon and I definitely give them major props uh, now let's get to the answer to this, let's answer the simple question, is Resident Evil Degeneration worth it or not in all honesty, yeah I'm going to be honest, like, I like this film. As a standalone CG film, it's okay. It's fairly decent. You can normally get it for about a fiver most days. Um, I bought it when it was new, so it was about £15 for me. So, even then, I enjoyed it enough to say, yeah, I got my money's worth out of that. And it was really enjoyable for me. I say it's worth it, even if you're not a Resident Evil fan. But, of course, if you are a Resident Evil fan, it's definitely something you've probably either already watched or, you've already, or you might have been considering. Resident Evil fans, I think, will enjoy this a lot more than they enjoyed the... Resident Evil live action movies because uh, this is a very faithful representation of what the game is about and I enjoyed it overall definitely a good bit of suspense and it. overall it's decent act it's also a really good action film um, but one of the best things about this DVD is actually the bonus features I normally don't talk about the special features because they weren't in because you don't you don't most people don't watch them um, but this actually has some really interesting ones it has character profiles as a look at of course as a look at the Resident Evil 5 game but the best thing in my opinion is the blooper reel um, they actually get the voice actors today pretend bloopers um, over the movie like it was a live action film. They actually get the voice actors today fake bloopers and they actually put it in. I'm not sure if it's bloopers done already on purpose by the, by the voice actors, but they get in the day that, and especially the voice actor of Leon, he just has a blast with it. And it's really, really good. They actually sync up the couple of the scenes from the film really well with it. They also have a fake Leon interview, which is really funny in my opinion. Um, so the special features actually add a little bit for me for the worth it. Overall, if you can get a hold of it, I would recommend this. I would actually give this to most people. I would definitely say this is definitely worth a pick up if you can spare a fiver. Because I think I, I, checked, I was in stores a couple of days ago and I did see it in there and it was only a fiver. So definitely if you can. It's a good film. It's a good good, a good action film and a good zombie film. And you get some nice pointers for the zombie apocalypse in this. But let's move on to the next one, which is Resident Evil Damnation. And now, as you can tell, this one doesn't have Claire in it, which is a bit of a disappointment for me. Um, it has Ada Wong in it. Which isn't a major problem. Uh, but yeah, let's talk about the story. Now, the story is followed. It isn't the slow-moving zombies from Resident Evil De Degeneration. It's the last plague. It's the <laughs> ones. And one or two other creepy motherfuckers. Um, so, yeah, that, there's no, this isn't really a suspense one, this is more of an action one, you can tell that. They do also have a scene where the thing gets ripped at the guy's mouth and then gets forced in a soldier's throat, but that's kind of good. But the story is, followed, uh, is as followed. Leon is sent in to investigate and possibly stop a terrorist outbreak where in a, he goes to a nation which is in the middle of a civil war. And Leon has gone to investigate the rebel fighters who are supposedly using bio bioterrorism weapons, i.e. the Las Plagas, uh, or the Majangis, it's never really explicitly said. And a new bioweapon which allows a person who is infected with it to control the Las Plagas. So it is a bit, of a, a bit of a suspense one with that. And Leon's sent in to investigate and possibly stop. I don't really, I don't want really to go into too much else because the story is okay. Uh, I don't want to spoil too much, but that's the generic one, and it's okay. Uh, it's really well done in my opinion. It's not the greatest story. It's not, in my opinion, as good as G Generation, but it's it's decent. It's it's well handled. I'll say that right now. Um, now we'll talk about the uh, CG, shall we? Um, I don't know what happened, but the CG in D Generation was actually a lot better than Damnation. Like, I don't know what it was with Damnation. Like, when it's a standalone sequence with two characters talking, it's really well done. The lip sync is very nice. But, in other cases, it's really bad. Like, it's really not that good. It's more apparent in certain action sequences than anything else. But overall, the CG is 
bearable. It's decent enough that you won't notice it unless you're looking for it like I was. Um, the CG in some instances gets a wee bit iffy, but the best part is when characters are interacting. Um, now we'll talk with about the voice acting for this one. The voice acting, the, again, they got the voice actor for Leon. It is a new voice actress for Ada Wong, but she actually does a really good job in my opinion. And the best parts of this movie are actually the interaction between Ada Wong and Leon S. Kennedy. Um, the interaction between the two voice actors and the two characters is exceptional in my opinion. really adds a bit of tension to it and is very, very well done. However, they kind of outshine the rest of the cast. Um, the, the character of Hunnigan, who is in the Resident Evil 4 and 6, um, is in this in here as well, and she does a decent job. But the, the other character on the box art, whose name I can't even remember, I just called him Mr. I just called him Mr. Retard because he's fucking stupid. Um, his voice actor was kind of bad in my opinion. He didn't really know what he was doing in my in my opinion. Um, he does get emotion across right, but he's kind of dull. He kind of has this one tone most of the time, and when he does do an emotion that meant he could have him be a bit more tone, it goes a wee bit iffy for me, in my opinion. It ended up going, eh. It was not that good, in my opinion. Um, all the voice actors and actresses in there have uh, done a decent job. There is a guy in here who is uh, a, a character in this one who is obsessed with America, of course, and he uh, acts like a fucking retarded motherfucker who is obsessed with America. He gets annoying really fast, and I could. I was glad when he died. Sorry, I had to say it. He dies. It's obvious. If there's a character in there who's obsessed with America, you know he's going to fucking die. Um, but yeah, voice acting was two main leads, which is Leon and Ada, in my opinion, done a good job. Okay, now I need to answer the question: Is this worth it or not? No. Like, Resident Evil Degeneration is worth it because it's enjoyable, it's fun, and really, you don't really have to be a hardcore Resident Evil fan to be to watch it. You don't even, in my opinion, really need to be a Resident Evil fan to enjoy it because they do explain a basic, basic of basic stuff, but you get the gist of the story. And this one, this one, on however, kind of needs you to play at least Resident Evil 4. And one thing that kind of pissed me off about this whole movie is while this is kind of obviously. Uh, a promo for Resident Evil 5 in some instances, it, isn't really, it doesn't really tie in with Resident Evil 5 at all. This, however, does. I shit you not, at the end of the credits, it plays the Resident Evil 6 trailer. This is nothing but a blatant cash in for the popularity of the, to get you a watch it so you can have a bit of backstory with Leon and what play Resident Evil 6 with him. That's all this is in my opinion, and Overall, it's not worth a pickup. It's not really worth it. It's enjoyable only for decent action sequences, but really it's a major downgrade in my opinion from Degeneration. Um, overall, it's not that good. It's like the, Beyond the uh, interaction with Ada and Leon, it's really not that good and it's overall average. And it's really not worth a pickup because it's still about £20 when I bought it. I, did, I bought it for about £20 when I got it and it's still that. And of course, uh, there's one thing I've got to mention that I completely forgot about and I just noticed there. Whenever a movie has this in the tagline, an original CGI motion picture, I slap myself in the face that I even picked it up. I'm sorry, that is the most generic and stereotypical movie t title ever. I really hate films that have that title because... Yeah, it's a, I expect it to be a fucking motion picture. And though I'd be looking at photographs for the rest of the fucking movie. Oh, uh, just really... But you can tell that the, like, this didn't need that tagline. This Degeneration didn't need that. Why did this? Because it, this is not that good in my opinion. Um, I, only, I only found it enjoyable with the interaction between Leon and Ada. And some of the action sequences. But overall, unless you're a hardcore Resident Evil fan, give this a miss. It's really not worth it. Once it drops down in price to like maybe £5, I'd say pick it up. Resident Evil Degeneration is definitely one I'd recommend. But overall, I didn't like that much. I don't think this was that good. Beyond the stereotypical action sequences, it's not that good in my opinion in some of the interaction. So, Damnation is definitely, especially with that fucking original CGI motion picture tagline, Definitely, it's true. I say you go if you see it, don't pick it up and just walk away. So overall, not worth it. So what one would I recommend? I think it's blatantly obvious. I'd recommend even if you're not a Resident Evil fan to pick up Degeneration. Really decent, a really decent CG film, and it explains a lot of the stuff that you need to know. So overall, 
are these the question is are these better than the live action Resident Evil films um Degeneration I hate to say it but yeah I like this more than I like the Resident Evil live action films with Mila Jovovich. I love Mila but I like this better so I definitely say if you if you if you're a fan of the Resident Evil live action films pick this up and definitely enjoy Degeneration not Damnation so overall thank you for watching um Degeneration worth it Damnation not I know I'm going to get fucking flagged for that, but screw it. Um, so I think that's all for this wee on review. As always, I'm Scottish182. Now, if you'll excuse me, i got to go and watch this. Time to go and do some alchemy. Ciao for now.